began as a routine accident, but when it was over, a Shreveport woman was lying in a pool of blood at the Shreveport Police Department. And the police officer who had been with her wound up being fired. KTBS 3's Chrissy Coyle joins us tonight with more on this story you'll see only on 3. Chrissy, this was all caught on videotape. Well, Jody, at least some of it was, but a lot of this case revolves around what wasn't caught on tape. We want to caution you, some of the video you're about to see is very graphic. After Angie Garbarino had a wreck, Shreveport police took her in on suspicion of DWI. As this video shows, she was very argumentative. You're not going to let me call anybody. You're not going to let me call anybody. No, I need to talk to somebody. Well, I know we have some rules we need to follow. We need some rules, and I have rules to me. Officer Wiley Willis was required to read her her rights, but Garbarino was insistent on making a phone call. You have got to let me call somebody. No, I am calling you. You can't not let me call anybody. You can't. Put your hand on the back. Are you serious? Oh my God, you know. The rules you have to follow. At this point, the officer did not take her to jail, and things got worse. I have a right to call somebody right now, and I know that. Is this on the record? It's good. Stop away. No, I don't. Don't you touch me again. Don't you touch me again. Garbarino later got up to leave. Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! Ow! God, I'm going to call up my son in law. Seconds later. You understand, man? Yeah, I understand. The officer stops the tape. It's not known what happened while the tape was off, but when it comes back on, Garbarino is lying on the floor in a pool of blood. Lay down. Lay down. Don't move. Another officer comes in to look at Garbarino, then walks out. Garbarino's lawyer says she suffered a broken nose, a severe cut on the forehead, two broken teeth, and bruises on her arms and shoulder. Attorney Ron Machota says Garbarino was not driving drunk that night. As to what happened at the police station, he says, quote, the whole situation could have been avoided if the officer had followed procedure. Now, Officer Willis was fired a little earlier this month. His attorney, Aaron Brainerd, says the officer did not beat Garbarino and that her injuries were caused when she fell while being taken to jail. After she refused the breathalyzer test, he turned in accordance with standard procedures he turned off the video and saved it and at that time she tried to leave the room again he tried to stop her and in that process she fell and injured herself although very unfortunate her injuries were caused by her own erratic behavior her failure to comply with lawful um, reasonable and standard um, instructions for arrested persons now, Brainerd says Willis turned the camera back on to document her injuries. Police administrators decided not to file charges against the officer, saying no one knows for sure what happened. Police Chief Henry Whitehorn issued a statement saying it was something that needed to be handled internally. Jody says there was not enough evidence to pursue criminal charges.